Hi, I'm with uh, Roger Woods, uh, part of the mission team and also uh, a local vicar. And um, Roger's got some good news about some of the stuff in life. So you remember those four Ps? So Roger, are you going to tell us a story about some good news that's been going on in you, with you and your church? Shall I start off with reminding you people what the four Ps are first? That sounds great. So the four Ps, which are a key part of LISIG, are prayer, presence, proclamation, and persuasion. And from our experience, uh, many uh, local churches are good at the first two, less, less the last two. But one of the things when we as a, a local church um, did the LISIG online um, in March 2023, we thought we should be doing um, some, a bit more persuasion and should be running an inquirer's course which I'd always wanted to, but never really built up enough of a, an interest in, in the people who came. We, we've had new people as a, as a small church, but they've often come from other churches. But 2023, we just saw a, a small number of, of new people coming who were coming back to church or perhaps coming to church for the first time, which was really encouraging. And, and so what? Well, tell us the story. Well, um, this had been in the back of my mind for a while, and but uh, I... I think I was, didn't have enough courage to ask people. And eventually I got to the point where um, we have advertised it in church. I personally invited uh, four newish people, uh, of which three came. And so my wife and I ran the Christianity Explored course. That's the one. Oh, sounds exciting. And uh, can tell us a little bit about the people uh, coming with you on this. Well, three, uh, three, three ladies, uh, two who lived in the parish, um, and one lived just outside the parish. All have had some church experience in the past, but hadn't really been for church to church for a while. One came because of Christmas events. One came um, because she was invited by a neighbour uh, who's a member of our church. And one person came completely out of the blue. They'd been doing some uh, Lent devotional with the Church of England app. And, and um, they came every week. And uh, at the end of the course, there was an opportunity to pray a prayer of commitment. I didn't force it upon them. I didn't make them do it at the time, but told them to go away. And if they wanted to pray the prayer and let me know uh, if they did. And they came back the following week and uh, we we shared some stories of of that, which was really, really encouraging. So, so Roger, what what do you think you've learned from this recent experience? Well, we're a small church and and so we're used to uh, small numbers and and that's fine. Um, But I think small numbers works. There was so uh, my wife and I were running the course. There were three people, and that was a that was a good number uh, for us to get to know them and them to get to know us. Um, secondly, you have to be brave. I've been thinking about this for a while, and it eventually, um, both organisationally and and courage to actually advertise it and ask people uh, personally. Um, I also uh, a friend of mine has run Christianity Explored uh, quite often, so I asked his advice. He had done some simple worksheets. Uh, from the main handbook, uh, which were helpful. And he sent me those and I photocopied those. And and that was a a helpful way to ask advice. Thanks, Roger. Great to know that you're putting the four Ps into practice and that we're all still learning. Yes, it's been a real encouragement to us as a church. That's a great example of putting those four Ps into practice. Um, uh, And if you want to know more about uh, Inquirer's course, how to run them, we'd be delighted to chat with you. But you also might have some great stories. We'd love to hear your stories of putting Lysig into practice. See you soon.